Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Today I will like to do a presentation about psychological topic, a communication disorder. Okay. Definition and what's the meaning of communication disorder? A communication related problem such as stuttering, poor articulations, language difficulties and voice impairment which gives negative impact on a child academic achievement so let me explain the content of definition there are the main four words that you need to conclude here that is stuttering stuttering means example a person want to ask you a question oh, what's the time now have you have eaten like that it's a prolonged sound to replay a person to answer a person okay example what's the time now the time is nine it's like stuttering okay it's uh, hard to complete a word okay uh, and also a prolonged sound to produce a word okay and also the second words that you can see here is poor articulation poor articulation means a articulation disorder that can be related to a physical problem uh, such as the nerve damage normally the person that have nerve damage only will be involved in poor articulation on the you can detect by the way how they move their tongue the lips uh, teeth to produce a sound the movement okay the movement of teeth lip and also their tongue produce a movement okay when to produce a clear sound simple that means a good speech okay in some case they can be involved a lazy speech a lazy speech means uh, that means example I give you a word okay I give you a word okay it's specific but they will pronounce pacific like that it's like a little bit lazy okay when we talk lazily we can conclude the word a uh, different page okay and the third word you can conclude here language difficulties language difficulties means uh, a person that is not familiar with a different language example uh, a person is Malay but okay the okay example uh, the person cannot talk in Malay the person uh, cannot talk in English because they are not familiar very familiar so it's difficult to them to speak in language fourth is voice impairment voice impairment example a person have normally voice impairment is to the person have so diphonia yeah phon diphonia disorder I think so diphonia disorder the person that have a uh, voice impairment mostly in that case only okay so you can uh, just understand the definition by the four main words that I got mentioned to you type of disorder here we can classify the type of disorder in communication disorder is such as speech sound disorder language disorder Child onset fluency disorder, stuttering, and social pragmatic communication disorder. Okay, so <clears throat> we can conclude here. There are four types, and I got classified the four types uh, with uh, different main points. Okay, for speech disorder, articulation difficulties. Articulation difficulties is same as I got mentioned to you in definition. Uh, incorrectly pronounce a word sound with the movement that involves tongue teeth lips to produce a sound okay and the second one phonological process disorder a pattern of sound that is abnormal characters that means uh, a child just got mentioned mom I want a book but uh, she cannot completely finish the sentence it's like book but she will not claim book she will claim mom i want a book like that book okay okay it's uh, like half sentence only now okay uh, like example another word animal they will just claim any like that okay and the third one is fluency disorder fluency disorder means interruption in the flow of speaking such by repeating prolonged sound syllables often referred to stuttering it's similar like that voice we can tell to you it's voice impairment 
uh, abnormal pinch and loudness in usual speech tone can be called voice impairment similar like just now i got claim to you the person that have dyphonia disorder mostly will be affected okay and then the second one you can see language disorder language disorder here we can see expression language disorder mixed expressive language disorder and receptive difficulties in comprehending that means okay expressive language disorder is difficult to express their thought when answering okay when questioning okay when we question a person means it's difficult to them to answer their what's their thought and what's their opinion how to answer question and the requirement their requirement by using a language okay and then mix <coughs> mix expressive language disorder is similar like mix expressive or similar like mix language disorder okay it's both is similar only there's no difference involve a combination of expressive and receptive problem some of them in this disorder have difficult to understand words and sentence sometimes they are unable to understand what they are talking also okay when they haven't completely understand a language third is receptive difficulty in comprehending difficult to understand on what other people is communicating with them okay the okay in the child outset fluency disorder that means stuttering stuttering you can classify by three type of stuttering interrupt single words example i'm sorry is pau the word i'm sorry is paused in the middle it's like that okay interrupt the words it's interrupt little bit okay inaudible or silent block the speech is not fluent and sometimes it's filled with lot of gaps okay when they want to pronounce sentence it's a lot of gap okay and the third one is circumlocution circumlocution is example word replacement to avoid trouble some word many words is used in a circle of specific idea without uh, directly just a working it okay that means uh, the main idea is very simple but they just uh, it's they like circumlocution the main ideas and they use many words lah to they will not directly tell that they will indirectly tell that okay like just now i got tell to you okay the <coughs> for it monosyllabic word word repetition that means sound syllable repetition example like because they will just tell b b because like that okay okay and the fourth is social pragmatic communication disorder verbal and non verbal that means difficult to communicate verbal and non verbal words in a speech okay the second one is difficult in responding person questions sometimes late answer a question take time to think okay some okay the third one is remain in a topic difficult following rules for a conversation and storytelling such so jump to another chapter refreshing a uh, refresh a specific topic okay that means uh, it's difficult to them to refresh a sentence like that or just jump to another chapter or topic like that okay fourth one is using gesture using gesture means okay example when a child is studying a book means they will keep pointing their finger when reading a uh, notes because they don't want to lose the paragraph you know they just want don't want to miss the paragraph okay or when the teacher asks you a question means they will just uh, look at the friend and just waving at them or, or like ah uh, what's the question like that it's similar like that okay so <clears throat> here uh, we can detect uh, wait uh, sorry uh, okay mm, okay here uh, we can detect the treatment for disorder okay treatment for disorder such as communication in communication disorder okay uh, the four type speech disorder such as speech sound disorder language disorder cognitive behavior child onset fluency oh sorry okay okay firstly okay treatment for disorder treatment for disorder we can classify here speech sound disorder include slp therapies slp therapies means speech 
language pathologist yeah speech language pathologist it's like include that lot include that is learning learning how to create sound correctly okay just now we got show, uh, see what is the symptoms and how we can explain all the type of disorder. Now we just uh, jump to the treatment for disorder. The treatment for speech sound disorder is same. Most of the treatment they use is speech language pathologist therapy such as learning. Learning how to create a sound correctly. Recognizing. Recognize whether the sound are proper or improper pronouns. Okay. Sometimes they're practicing. Practicing sounds and also practicing a longer pass with sounds okay practicing sound in a different variety of words and also practicing longer fast with a different sounds <coughs> with the different yeah practicing longer fast with the long sentence okay with a make sure the sound is perfect okay and then the second one we can see language disorder language disorder uh, the treatment for language disorder is same as SLP therapy also but we can use technique like example uh, participate in group sessions group study classes like that so when teachers ask a question like this when they are involved in a group means that means when teacher ask a question means it's uh, easy for them to explain okay one to one sorry one on one therapy season with speech language pathologist okay that one is the second one we can use the treatment for language disorder third one is psychotherapy communication therapy to perform better recover by removing or controlling previous symptoms okay sometimes cognitive behavior therapy we done Child answer. Yeah, cognitive behavior therapy, such as motivational therapy in behavior when interacting with social. Learn and practice the method of controlling emotion and way to avoid unnecessary emotions such as stress, depressive anger, emotional outbursts. Okay, oh, I can see it. Okay, the fourth is child onset fluency disorder stuttering okay sometimes for stuttering uh, they know uh, mostly uh, they will no need uh, SLP therapy they just will use medical drugs such as alprazole uh, and anxiety agent to control anxiety level among children Sita Citalopram selexa to increase serotonin in human brain to stabilize mood feelings of well-being and happiness sometimes select uh, the I got mentioned Sita Sita Lopram also is used to depression la, to treat depression disorder. Okay, so <clears throat> the second one is direct strategy we can use in child onset fluency disorder such as assist your children in changing their speech pattern indirect strategy slowing down your own speech and asking fewer questions are example of this method actually okay the third one we can oh sorry the last one we can see here <coughs> we can see here social programmatic communication disorder first one is augmentative and alternative communication aac communication method used to supplement or replace speech or writing for those in with impairment in the production of comprehension of speaking or writing language second one we can use video based instruction for the problem with social programmatic communication disorder treatment such as an observation teaching method in which video recording are used to create a model of desired behavior or ability the individual the individual person watch video recording of desired action on then emanate them actually okay the third one computer based instruction now they've got a lot of computer technologies so it's easy uh, for us to teach a language abilities such as vocabulary and social skills social comprehension and social problem solving okay so sorry huh? Oops. Okay. 
Mm, okay, we can check here the statistic. Okay, statistic in worldwide. According to the survey that I have studied, I have concluded the percentage of communication disorder in three to six years old children is higher than seven to ten years old children. Many of children in between three to six years old is suffering with mixed communication disorder. In this study development, actually in this study I have concluded lah, the development in maturity of children in age affect the risk of communication disorder in children. That means the higher the age of the children, the lower the risk of the communication disorder that affect the children. Okay, so <clears throat> Here I got, for this study, I got used the reference. Uh, most of the reference I have collected from internet web page. And most useful to collect data about this communication disorder, I have uh, referred to online web page such as mainly is ASHA, American Speech Language Hearing Association web page that give a lot of information to study this topic and also many extra topic that I have used uh, to receive data okay uh, such as NICD National Institute on Deafness and other communication disorder Childhood Apresia of Speech Association of North America and this a lot okay so that's all and uh, that's all um, thank you for the presentation.